all right guys welcome back to day three in the previous uh, days like day one and day two we basically created this kind of window and then we changed the title and the icon of this window pretty simple huh it's looking pretty decent right now but we need to start adding stuff inside a kind of window to make it more uh, more better you know right now nobody can use it just we can just look at it so what we are going to do it uh, not do it we are what we are going to do is that we are just going to add some text over here and maybe uh, add some images in this video uh, so yeah that's the plan so the first thing you need to learn know about python uh, this kinter framework is that everything inside this uh, kinter window actually just contains a lot of widgets all right everything that is going to go inside this window is a widget so if you add a text it's also a widget and if you add some kind of a picture or maybe some buttons or something all those things are called widgets in Kinter. So the text whenever we add a text inside the Kinter window that widget is called the label widget. So let's actually get started and create a label widget. The first thing I'm going to do is just add some text let's call the variable text and uh, we are going to use the label function so this is basically the widget that I was talking to you about for the text thing and then it requires two main parameters the first parameter is where do you want this text to appear we want this text to appear in this window and what is this window called right now this window is actually called root because we created the window and then we stored it inside this root variable so we want this uh, label or text to appear inside this root window so the first parameter is going to be root and the second parameter it requires what kind of text do you want inside this root window uh, so I'm just going to write uh, let's let's make some nice uh, all right yeah that looks pretty good and after this what you have to do is um, after you have put in the text it's not going to still show up inside Kinter it's actually going to throw you an error or something because in Kinter after you put in a widget you also need to do something called packing so it just if we just run the, oh, who is texting me right now damn it uh, <laughs> anyways uh, yeah so whenever you put in some kind of widget so for example label widget inside Kinter you need to also pack it otherwise it's not going to show inside your Kinter window it's kind of you know uh, it's kind of like you have a lot of things while traveling but unless you pack all those things inside a briefcase or something you won't be able to take all of that stuff with you uh, all of the clothes and stuff you have to pack it inside a bag and only then you'll be able to take that stuff with you the clothes without packing uh, will be very difficult to take similarly when you add different widgets in a window you also have to pack them so the way to pack them is very simple just write talk not talk text dot pack and that's pretty much it so you can just pack it up and it is going to show you inside the Kinta window so let's close this and run main and as you can see there's some text which says let's make some noise okay so this is pretty good we have added some text inside a Kinter window uh, now what we are going to do is actually add some kind of picture inside uh, this Kinter window so what we are going to do is we are just going to create a new variable let's call it photo and um, actually I don't have any images right now so I'm just going to go back to maybe flat icon and let's remove this one and we're just going to get the maybe the play button because this is a music player and we definitely would be needing a play button for our music player let's scroll down uh, can't find any good okay this looks pretty good the red the red one uh, we are going to download it download it as PNG uh, 256 should be good maybe it's small if it's small we'll change it all right play one let's uh, show it in folder let's copy it and go back to our python file and i'm just going to paste it and let's just call it play okay and now we have this play.png inside our melody project so yeah let's go back to our code where we add this uh, play.png inside uh, a window 
So this requires something known as photo image function. Just like the label widget, there is also a widget called photo image widget, which is uh, which basically enables you to add images in Kinter. And then what it's going to ask you, where do you want? Uh, actually, it's only going to ask you this one thing where uh, you have to tell the file location. So the file location, um, there's no file location. Basically the file is inside our project. So we can just write play.png and that should be good than uh, more than enough. And after that, um, so one thing I forgot to tell you is that this label can also act as a container. So those photo image is not uh, alone, we won't be able to put the image inside your Kinder window. We'll have to use it this label, which also acts as a container for um, embedding an image inside your Kinder window. So what we are going to do is we are just going to uh, just add another variable, let's call it label photo. And then we are going to use this label and inside this label, let's just write photo. And where do we want this photo to appear? We want this photo to appear in root. So this is going to be our first uh, parameter that is we want this photo to appear in our root. And then uh, basically we what do we want to appear? We want this photo to appear in our window. And then let's just uh, like before we need to pack everything else. And then let's just write pack. And yeah, this looks good. Let me just format this properly a little bit. All right, so this looks decent. Let's run dot, let, let's run the main file. And it's giving us an error. It says must be string, not ENT. So what did I, what did I do wrong? All right, guys, welcome back. Use Kinter to automatically integrate these images into. Ah, I got it. So basically, uh, when you ins insert an image into a label, you also have to specify that this is not a text and it's actually uh, an image. So what we are going to do is write image equals to photo. So because uh, label automatically assumes that uh, you're inserting some kind of a string. So that's why it's giving us an error must be string not integer. So now that we have specified that this, this thing that we are trying to insert is actually an image, uh, which is not a string. Uh, so that's why it's going to be much easier for Kinter to recognize that we have to insert an image. All right, let's run this main.py file and hopefully it works. All right, even though it's pretty big, this play button, we'll have to probably make it a little bit smaller. We Maybe I uploaded a uh, too much of a big picture. So instead of uh, instead of maybe 256, I'll have to maybe uh, maybe 64. Yeah, 64 looks good. But I'm not going to do that over here because the video is also pretty becoming pretty long. So yeah, let, this is a pretty good uh, thing to start. So what I recommend to you to do is um, just go over here, download a 128 or 64 pixel image, whatever seems right to you and then do all of this process again so that it gets uh, it gets embedded in your mind that what you have to do it because sometimes it might get a little bit confusing as to what you're supposed to do now i'm just going to give you a quick re recap of what we did in this video so what we learned is that every window every kinter window contains a lot of widgets for example the label widget and the photo image widget to add an image we have to use the label function and where do we want this text to appear we want this text to appear in a root window and then the text that we have uh, that we should make that the second parameter of this function and then we have to pack everything up to make sure that it appears on our window so for example if i remove this this pack function from over here and run this main.py file again as you can see this image is not going to appear because we haven't properly packed it then uh, to add an image, we use the photo image function, which basically using which you have to specify where the image is present. And then we have to use another label to insert this, uh, this photo image. So this photo image can be also embedded in buttons and stuff. So whatever you see over here at the top right hand corner in uh, PyCharm, all these are photo images, but these photo images are inside buttons. 
uh, which we are also going to be doing in future because we want to make this kind of a button for a music player so yeah but that is in the future not right now and then yeah we just add this uh, this second parameter as image because we don't want it to be text and then we pack everything up and it works it looks good so guys this was a little bit of a long video but i hope you liked it and uh, tomorrow we are going to go to day four so i'll see you over there